Hello everyone and welcome to another Fallout 4 Tips and Tricks video. It has been a long time since I've done one of these because frankly there just hasn't been a lot of new tips and tricks in Fallout 4 to talk about. Not a lot of new revolutionary stuff has been going on, right? Until recently. So what do all of these objects in front of you, in front of me, have in common? They're all powered objects, right? They all require a cord, a power wire, connecting them to a power source. But what else do they have in common right now? Well, they don't have power cords. None of them do. None of these have power cords connecting them, and yet they all are on. They're all running. I can pick them up, move them around. You can see no power cord connecting it and yet it's on how did i do this you may be wondering well i'm going to show you how but first i want to give credit where it's due i did not come up with this trick um one of my patrons actually john coleman thank you john for passing this my way uh he didn't make it up either but he's the one who gave me the link it's actually paul over at um school zone and I'll leave a link in the description to his video. You should go check it out too because it's one of his subscribers actually, I think, who came up with this idea. And he's the one who made a video first. But I thought it was just too amazing to not have a video of it on my channel too since I do the tips and tricks, you know. I need to have a complete collection of tips and tricks. So, but do go watch um, Paul's video about it because he's the one who did it first and he deserves all the credit there for doing the first video. At least, as far as I know, he did it first. Uh, he said he checked the internet to see if anyone had done it, but he couldn't find anyone who'd done it. So, I'm crediting him. He's where I uh, learned it from. Anyways, so I'm going to show you how to do this, and it's very simple. Um, but first, you have to know how to do the wire trick, uh, the wire glitch, I should say. And if you don't know how to do the wire glitch yet, I'm leaving a link in the description to my video on how to do the wire glitch. You have to know how to do that before you can do this glitch. So go watch that video first and then come back and watch this one. All right. Also, watch to the end of this video, please, because I have a very important um, thing to talk about after I show you this. It's a warning, actually, in the use of this glitch because this is a, a real true glitch. This is a glitch that the game has a hard time dealing with, okay? So I am i can't tell you what it is yet until I show you the actual glitch. So, but just stay tuned until the end because I have an important warning and caution for you after this, after I show you. All right, let's get on with it. So the first thing you need is a generator and I prepared a couple earlier. So I'm going to take one. Now, the fusion generators are the easiest ones to do this with because you have to actually have the connector up high. You have to be able to... Uh, it has to be above your head in order for this to work. It works with other generators too, like it will work with the small generator. You just have to prop it up high, at least while you're doing the glitch. You don't have to keep it up high in the end. And the it works with the windmills as well. It's just that their connector is down low for how big they are. Their connector is down low. So you do have to prop them up. And actually, one of the easiest ways to do that is to just grab a pillar and use the group select. Oh, I can do it with both of them. And just raise them up temporarily. That works just fine. Okay. Or you can put it up on a building or a block, you know, however you want to do it. But that's probably the quickest way to do it. All right. <clears throat> so then you will also need a conduit and preferably uh, one that sits on the ground. It doesn't have to sit on the ground. You can get a post, a, a pillar. <clears throat> Excuse me like this one and get one of those sideways um, ones I'm gonna do this over here because all that's over there um, you can get one that will snap to the side of a, a thing like this but um, a ground one works too you just have to have it down low and then you want to get your thing that you're gonna power now um, I'm going to use just a, let me see I'm going to use a basic switch 
And then you can use these to like power lights and stuff, you know, the, with the radiated power, like uh, this one's powering these um, neon lights. This, this switch is powering these neon lights. Okay, so then what you're gonna, going to want to do is to attach a wire to the generator the normal way, the normal way you would do it. And then you want to use the, the wire glitch on the generator. So then you want to turn around and look at the thing you want to power, in this case the switch. Don't select the switch so that the switch is highlighted. Select the wire so that the wire is highlighted, but look at the object. So you want like your reticle to be in front of the object you want to power. Then attach the wire. No, now I know it doesn't say attach wire down there at the bottom of the screen, but this is the wire glitch. Um, just trust me. Okay, so what you want to do, so whatever whatever um, platform you're on, it's the attach wire button, the the button that you would use to attach a wire in the normal way. In on a PS4, uh, it's the the triangle button, and on and Xbox is the Y button, and I'm not sure what it is on the PC, I'm sorry. <laughs> but you guys who play on PC know what button it is, so do it. And look, the wire immediately switches from the generator, or from the, from the conduit, to the item that you want to power. And as you can see, it's turned on right now. It's got the green light, it's being powered. Now, select your power conduit. Before you do anything else, immediately go down and select the power conduit. Now I'm talking about as if you were going to pick it up, okay? Don't push your attach wire button. Push the button, your activate button, as if you were going to pick up the power conduit. The wire now is back attached to this. And you can just um, cancel. But look! it's still powered and you can pick it up and take it around to other places but first you'll want to delete this um, wire because if you don't it'll reattach so you have to and then it'll mess up your thing so let me just do it again Well, in this case, I don't need to do it again. Sometimes it messes it up. I've done it before where it messes it up. In this case, it's still powered. Sometimes if you pick up this and move it while the wire is still attached and while the wire still exists, um, you don't, yeah, it'll mess it up. But in this case, it didn't. So, but I would just suggest while it's, after you've got it back down here, after you select this and the wire comes back, uh, just, d just push, um, just delete that wire. All right, so now we've got a free-floating powered switch, and we can come way over here if we want to stick it anywhere. You know, so we're really far from the generator, and in a vanilla game with no mods, no wire would be able to stretch that far. Um, so then we can just go in, get a light. Let's just put this one up here, and voila it can power, you know, a light. Uh, it radiates power just like a regular wired switch. And you can do this with anything that requires power. So you could just like create a couple of these, stick them on your house. Uh, you can even use a pillar glitch or whatever and sink it into the wall if you want to hide it. You know, you can do whatever you want with it. Now, you can use it to power, as you can see, I've powered this light with it. I've powered this spotlight with it, this switch. I powered a laser turret with it, and I powered a terminal with it. And of course, you can take this, you can move it anywhere. I can put it all the way across the other side of the settlement if I wanted to, and it would still work. As long as this generator exists in the world, I can even move the generator around. I can 
I can sink the gener generator into the ground if I wanted to. As long as the generator exists in the world, these items will stay put. All right. Now, I'm just going to go over it one more time in a little bit more detail for you guys. If you just didn't catch it the first time, I some of you might not have caught it the first time. So if you have, I apologize. You can skip this part, but please do watch the end of the video where I give you the, the caution that I want to give you. So let me see what I'm trying to look for. Let's do another... Um, what am I looking for? There we go. Let's do another turret because it's always fun to see those things come to life. Because, you know, they, they have little droopy heads at first and then they don't. <laughs> Now, where'd my conduit go? There it is. All right. So you just place the conduit in front of the item that you want to power. Attach the wire to the generator normally, the normal way. And this is why you need the, the generator's conduit to be up high, because you have to stand under the wire in order to get it to work, because you have to look through the wire at the object. But first, do the wire glitch on the generator and again go watch my um, wire glitch video if you don't know how to do this but you basically just push the attach wire button while you're looking through the wire at the generator and you can hear that spark okay nothing happened except sometimes you get this little sparky thing in the air that's normal and that'll go away it doesn't happen every time but it usually does and it'll go away after you attach the wire again look through the wire at the objects you want to power and push the attach wire button again and boom it changes the wire to the powered object come down here and select the conduit as though you were going to pick it up which is basically what you're doing you're picking it up then cancel then delete the wire and you've got yourself a powered laser turret and you can put it anywhere in the world you can stick them way out on the edges of your settlements and you don't have to worry about bringing wires out there it's just powered and it's awesome all right so hopefully you got that if you didn't you can watch this video again you know as many times as you need in order to get it and of course i will read the comments in the in the comments <laughs> i will read the comments on this video and if you guys have any other questions feel free to ask them in the comments and I will try to answer them. Now, there is an, a case where it might not work and I am going to show you what will happen if you mess up. So let's say, oh, uh, let me see. Let me just, okay. Let me just get another uh, turret. Now I'm going to try I'm going to try to duplicate this. It, I've only ever done it on accident, so I don't know if it will work when I try to do it. So basically, do it like you're going to do it. But let's say you accidentally push the wrong button. Let's say you accidentally push X instead of triangle. Or you accidentally have the... Like, maybe you accidentally just bump and it selects... Oh, sorry. And it selects the actual turret instead instead of going through the wire you had the turret highlighted instead of the wire well it will mess it up right and then if you try to do it again you have to come back and do the wire glitch again it might not work the second time it might though sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't see there it goes it worked whoops but sometimes it won't. It's like you'll come over here and you'll try to push the button. Like you'll try to push your attach wire button and nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. And you can do it over and over and nothing will happen. It's like the button doesn't work. Okay, that's happened to me a few times while I was testing this. And it only ever happened when I accidentally messed up to begin with. And when I was trying to do it over, it didn't work. If that happens to you, um, you have to get rid of the wire, you have to store the conduit, and you have to move your uh, generator. Then you have to get out a new conduit and do it all from over from scratch. 
it's like it just has to reset everything. If you try to do it over again with the same stuff in the same place without moving anything, it just won't work. You could try to do it over and over and over. And I just, I discovered that you have to do that in order to fix it. It's like it gets stuck in this little rut and you can't figure out what to do. Anyway, so that's um, a problem that you might encounter if you accidentally mess up the first time. And that's just how you can fix it. Okay, now I'm going to talk about the downside there is a downside to this glitch as amazing as it is and it is amazing i think we can all agree there there is a downside if you're not careful okay so this is a true glitch not like the rug glitch or the pillar glitch which isn't really a glitch but this is a true glitch and this is a and, and in the case of glitches they can mess with your game if you're not careful in how you use them the game can't, it can't compute what you're doing here. Basically what you're doing is these items are being powered and yet technically they should not be because there are no wires attached to them, right? Now, as long as this generator exists, these items can be powered. If you delete this generator, they will still be powered. That's a thing about this glitch. But don't think, ooh, this means I don't ever have to have generators sitting around in my settlement. Well, that's what I thought maybe first at, uh, at first, too. When I was testing this, I was like, well, can I actually delete the generator? And I did. I came over here and I deleted it. And everything stayed powered. And I was like, woohoo, that's awesome. I can just have settlements with no generators in them. You know, initially, while I'm powering things, I have to have a generator, but then I can delete it and everything will stay powered. That's true for a while, but your game can't comprehend. It can't compute. These things are powered, but there's no generator present in the settlement. And, well, your game will crash. I'm telling you, I tested it many times and it crashed every single time I deleted the generator. Now, you can move it around, you can do stuff, as long as the generator exists in the world, uh, you're fine. So, if you ever need to get rid of your generator, make sure you first delete every single, or, you know, store or scrap every single object that you had powered with that generator. <laughs> so, if, if you, um, yeah. If you don't want your game to crash, um, be careful. Make sure that this is the generator you want to use. You know, like if you started out with one of these little tiny ones. And then you wanted to graduate to one of these bigger ones later once you got the perk for it, right? Don't do that. You got to keep your little one too. Or all of your, you know, your powered things, they will cause your game to crash, all right? So that's just a bit of fair warning there for you guys. Now, as long as the generator exists, I've discovered in all my testing that it, it does seem to be perfectly safe to use this glitch as long as the generator exists while the items are powered. So, um, so yeah, there you go. Now, if your game does crash for any reason while you're using this glitch, it will you may get infinite loading screen when you try to log back in again. Um, that happened to me not every single time it crashed, but probably uh, two out of three times it did. So um, infinite loading screen is where you, you boot up your game, you tell it to lo load the game, but it doesn't. It just stays on the loading screen and the loading screen will play over and over and over and you'll just, they're waiting and nothing happens. Okay, when that, if that happens to you, just quit the the application again and if you had like loaded the game by just pushing continue to just load your last save whatever that was um if you did it that time and you got infinite loading screen when you log back in the second time try um choosing a specific save from a specific character and it should load that time uh, it could be any save it could be your last save whatever but just like choose it out of the save menu and actually then it will load it it should anyway it always does for me if it doesn't just keep trying it over until it works it eventually will work anyway you guys i don't want to scare you off 
um, away from this glitch because I think it's awesome. And as long as you're careful, um, it'll work and your, your game will be fine. As far as I've been able to tell in my testing. Anyways, you guys, that's all. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, leave a like for this video and leave a comment down below. Tell me, um, tell me what you think. And, you know, if you let me know if you experience game crashes or anything, because I don't know, maybe it's just my game. <laughs> maybe none of you guys will experience a game crash if you delete your generator, but you probably will. So just be careful. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, that is all. Again, leave a like, follow me on social media if you want to, if you do that kind of thing. And if you want to support my channel so I can make more of these videos more often, if there are any more tips and tricks videos for Fallout 4, I hope there are, but anyway, um, yeah, you can support my channel by um, becoming a patron on Patreon, or you can buy me a coffee. Coffee is just a way to tip uh, creators for the work that they do. And you just, you know, give them a couple bucks just to say thank you it's a one-time deal no no commitment no perks nothing just tip up tip creators that you want to say thank you for you basically buy them a coffee to say thanks all right you guys that is all i will see you in the next video whatever that may be and until then remember to play safe play nice and have fun bye guys